Hey, what's going on, guys? Lethal Flex here, and today I'm bringing you a uh, another video of my Evil Swarm deck. This is not the Dino version variant, though. This is the deck that I actually got first place with at my locals. Um, it's a pretty big tournament, actually, about 45 people there. Um, and I haven't put up a video in a while because I've had to work a lot and been a little bit busy, but I'm glad to bring you another video, and I'm glad you guys are always watching. I'm almost up to 300 subscribers. It's been... I think I started this actual channel in January. Um, I've had the channel for a long time, but I actually started putting up videos in January. So it makes me really happy that and within a few months I've already gotten almost 300 subscribers and um, I'll definitely be doing a box opening for you guys for that and probably maybe a, a giveaway or something like that. So let me, know what, let me know what you guys think I should do for 300 subscribers. And without any further ado, let's get into the deck profile. So for the engine, of course, we got three caster this guy grants you an additional normal seven of an evil swarm monster um if he's valored it still happens because it applies a condition to the field so remember that um because it says during the turn this card was normal summoned if it gets bottomless or anything the only thing you, the only way you can stop this is if the summon is negated so um if someone's stupid enough to judgment this or warning this then let them do that <laughs> so yeah after that we have some targets for him, and also a very good beat stick with Evil Swarm Thunderbird. Whenever a card effect is activated, you, he can banish himself, and he comes back during the next standby phase. Not your next standby phase, but the next standby phase. With uh, 300 more attack. Pretty good card. After that, we probably have one of the best cards in the deck. Three Evil Swarm Kirikion. Um You can get away with playing two, but I like to play three for consistency. Uh, helps me draw, and if I have an infection on the field I can shuffle monsters from the field in my hand to the deck to grab this guy um, in a hurry just in case I need him what he does is he banishes an evil swarm from your graveyard to add an evil swarm from your graveyard to your hand and you get an additional normal summon of an evil swarm monster that turn so if I have these three in my hand right here and um, or this guy in my hand and these three in the or these two sorry in the graveyard and I banish this to add this I can normal summon this and get this effect as well, and then normal summon this. I have three monsters on the field. I can go into Shockmaster or um, De Sigma if you play De Sigma. Um, I do not, but some people do. So, yeah. And for the last triple of the Evil Swarm, it's the Vanillas for the Rabbit target. I do run Rabbit in this deck, and it's a pretty good beat stick as well. So, yeah. That's it for the three ofs. For the doubles, uh, two Mandragora is kind of like a Cyber Dragon of the deck, except for. Uh, weak and his, he's easier to summon because so when your opponent controls more monsters than you do you can just special summon this guy I usually go for um, defense unless I'm trying to push for games so I, I'll, sometimes I'll attack with it I mean 1550 attack is not bad but it's not very smart to uh, summon it in attack mode <laughs> um, so yeah if, if I have one monster on the field and they have two I can special summon it I mean it, it's, it's that simple um, I am banishing a lot in this deck, so I, I like to go to Tour Guide and into Levier um, to get back my banished monsters. Like I said with Kirikion, you banish, so you can get your banished vanillas, shuffle them into the deck with Infection, add a Kirikion, summon the Kirikion, use its effect, you know, from there. Um, for the hand traps, I run two Valor, side them out for Max C when the match is, uh, you know, when it's appropriate. I thought about running Max C over Valor, but at locals, there's not a lot of people that have dragons and prophecies, you know, because those decks are really expensive. So I wasn't going to waste my time putting in maxis and having to side them out game two when this is um, more viable at a locals. But if you're going to regional, I'd actually recommend running uh, main decking two Valor and two Maxi, maybe taking out some other stuff, but yeah. Double Rabbit, self-explanatory. And for the last monster card, we run one Dark Arm Dragon. Um, again, I am banishing a lot, which is why I run the Levier. So with Dark Arm, when I banish for my graveyard, I can just get the stuff back that I banished with my Levier. It's that simple. So that's it for the monster lineup. Oops, sorry guys. Bumped the camera there a little bit. That's it for the monster lineup. Uh, let's go into the spells. We run three Infestation Pandemic. Oh, this card's too good. It's searchable with Ophion. If you draw into it, it's not bad either because you're, if your opponent doesn't expect you to have Infestation Pandemic and they try to bottomless it and you flash this, um, they're like, oh, what the hell? I didn't expect that because you open with it. And it's funny because you run three, so sometimes they should expect you to open with it. So roll with Ophion and it's it just blankets all your evil swarms um, for the whole turn. Forbidden Dress protects from Blaster and other things that might destroy Ophion. Um, versus dragons, 
this is very important. Um, Ophion is a huge win condition versus dragons, and the name of the game is to get Ophion on the field and protect him as much as possible. So, um, dress helps you do that. That's it for those spells, and let me go f through the uh, one for the one ofs. One Rota, this searches out the caster. One Reborn, again, I banish a lot, which is why I run the Tour Guides. So I run one Allure of Darkness, gives you draw power, and you can just get your stuff back with the uh, Levier. Heavy Storm, and Dark Hole. That's it for the spells. I don't play MST in this deck because uh, I don't really need it because I run the two Dress and Triple Pandemic. So I feel like MST is just a waste of uh, space for me. Instead, I went to go with uh, more traps, so I run Double Torrential. Uh, double bottomless. I side this out versus dragons because if you bottomless the dragons, they just get their effects and it's kind of stupid. And my phone just went off. I, for some reason, I, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, I played two compulse. Um, good against everything. I think it's the best trap of the format, to be honest. Uh, a card I like to tech is Dark Bribe. What, my friend uh, Giovanni Vala is a Vala Vala blah blah. I don't know how to spell, say his last name. But his name is Giovanni, and he told me to play Dark Bribe, and the reason behind this is, I play this over Judgment, because this is at 2, first of all. Um, and usually, I'm going to Judgment a spell, that's what Warning, or Spell or Trap, um, because I'm not going to Judgment a Summon, because that's what Warning is there for. Um, I play the Dark Bribes, because you would rather have your opponent draw a card, than activate the card they just activated. So, for instance, if you have 3 set back row, and they Heavy Storm, and you Dark Bribe... You would much rather them have that card they just drew than having them heavy storm the three back row, right? I mean, it seems logical. Really good card, though, so thanks, Geo, for telling me to put that in there. And for the last one, I have Infestation Infection. This card is so broken. Um, you can use it as a trap card. Well, I mean, it's a trap card, but you can use it, but you have to use it right. A lot of people are just like, oh, I drew vanilla. I'm going to activate Infestation Infection to summon it or to put it to my uh, deck and then... Shuffle and add a Kyrkion. Um, that's not the way I play it. The way I play it is, if I draw a vanilla, I'll summon the vanilla. If they bottomless it, I'll activate Infestation Infection. They waste the bottomless, and I shuffle it back into my deck and add a card. It's 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 simple. Or if I go, um, any other thing like during the damage step, or not during the damage step, like if Mirror Force or they deprison me, I can just activate this and they waste it. <laughs> so a lot of people don't see that coming. This card's really broken. That is it for the main deck. Let's go into the extra deck. I think it's standard. I'm not sure, though. Um, I run two Ophion. Two is enough. I used to run Xyz Reborn in this deck because um, I thought it was going to be a good idea. And it was it was working, but it was like if I drew them early game, I was like, shit, this could be something else. And I could have a better card in my hand over Xyz Reborn right now. <laughs> so I play two of these um, because it's enough. I mean, you have Infestation to protect it. And you can oftentimes get another one out if you need it. But usually one is just enough. I mean, it's, it's a good card. Two is there if I need it. Evil Storm Bahamut. This card steals games. Like, you can steal a big guy to use the big guy to steal another big guy to use that big guy and steal a Draco sack. And then your field is full and you can just destroy shit from there. And it can still attack the same turn you activate it. So, uh, yeah. If they discard an Evil Storm to activate it, though, that kind of... Is a, a downfall of it, but whatever. It was from Thanatos. Uh, I usually go into this card for the Constellar matchup. There are a lot of Constellars at my locals, which is a very good deck, and I love the deck. Um, as you guys know, I have the deck as well. And I give the, you guys a profile of that too, so if you want to go check that out, um, probably a link in the middle or something, maybe a box, if you guys would like to check out the Constellar deck. Uh, but yeah, this card is unaffected by... Evil Storm Thanatos is unaffected by Monster Effects. Um, until the end phase. And it's during a player's turn, you can detach. So, if I have a dress on the field and they have a Pleiades and they try to bounce it, I'll use Effect. If they try to run it over during the, uh, battle phase, I'll just dress their Pleiades and their Pleiades dies. So, yeah. For the generics, one Dweller, one Pappy, one Black of Ship of Corn. I don't go into this that much because that means isn't really viable this format, but I run it. I mean, I'm probably going to take it out for some trades or something. One Gemini Pearl, good in the mirror match. Uh, Maestro, also good in the mirror match. Utopia, Cowboy. Shockmaster, don't go into this. Uh, don't go into this that much. But when I do, I usually win, cause um, yeah, <laughs> cause it's good. Uh, one Zen mains. 
I just said Zenmains isn't viable, and here it is in my extra deck. Don't go into it that much. And uh, the one Levier. This card's so good in this deck because I banish a lot because I run Dark Armed and Allure. But yeah, the side deck is optional. I run one really shiny card. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll show you guys my side deck um, for now. It's going to change a little bit because I have some stuff in my side deck that um, should be my other side decks as well. But yeah, goes in match for dragons. Vasky for dragons. <laughs> if some of you guys don't know, you can tribute to, or monsters anywhere on the field that have zero attack and defense to summon Vasky. So it's so good. Like, I main deck Valor. So if they have tokens on the field, or if they just have one token on the field and I summon a Valor, I can then tribute both of them to summon this, activate this effect, and pop Draco Sack and then hit directly for 26. It's a really good card. Um, for Spellbooks, obviously, Droll Knockbird. Imperial Iron Wall. Really good card. Um, can't banish. So I side, I usually side out Kyrgyzon if I do that. Uh, double debunk. I like debunk because it's all right in the spellbook uh, matchup. And there's when you play against dragons, I usually side a couple in because they run three of each hand trap, if not more, because some of them main deck draw and lock birds. So that's up to eight hand traps. And if you can get those out of the way sometimes and banish them, that gives them cards minus in their graveyard, which dragons really like to do. And um, if you can banish them, they're out of the way for good. So, it's really good. One dimensional fissure for, you know, the occasional mermails. Um, double soul drain, good in dragons, and good in against... Um, what is it? Why can't I think of it? Mermails. Ah, oh, God, I'm so stupid. Mermail landing. Um, I usually have two maxi in here, but I put in something else for a quick change. I don't know. But yeah, um, one maxi. And one Grand Mole. This is really good in your match and good against Draco Sack. You just bounce their stuff and you get it back to your hand. So they have to waste something on it to uh, to get rid of it, which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah. So that's the deck, guys. I did get first place with this at our locals. Pretty big tournament. 45 people. Um, uh, I don't remember what I played. I believe I played one Prophecy, one Mermail, a Battle in Boxer deck, and... Um, like, Lavel Quasar, I think. I think that's what it was. But, Battle in Boxes, man. Those things are no joke. I might make that deck. So, yeah, guys. Sorry I haven't put up a video in a while. I mean, I'm trying, but I, I do have work, and it's hard sometimes. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys would like to see me do in the future. I can do some uh, some interviews with players. I can do some live duels at my locals if you guys would like that. Um, and I can do informational videos, like, opinions and stuff. And, um, yeah. Yeah. So, tell me what you guys would like to see me do. I'm definitely listening. I definitely comment back to all the, most of the comments that I get on my YouTube um, channel, if I think they're worth commenting back on. Now, if I don't comment back to you, you don't think I'm, it's not worth it. It's just I don't have time sometimes to comment back. But I try to keep in touch with you guys as much as I can. So, that was the Evil Swarm deck profile, guys. I really hope you liked it. Um, it's probably my best deck at the moment. But I am working on making heroes. And uh, I do have a rank 5 deck. If you guys would like to see, then I can... Uh, show that one to you guys as well so yeah this was ben lethal flex profiling my evil swarms for you guys first place at a 45 person local tournament and i hope you guys liked the video don't forget to subscribe peace out